A sea is a large body of salt water that is connected to an ocean and partially enclosed by land. It's a term used to describe a vast expanse of water. Well, nobody has ever thought that a body of water that big can dry out in a matter of decades because it seems impossible. But well, there is a sea which has completely dried out. You might be wondering, how can a sea dry out? What are the factors that can result in such a phenomenon? Well, let's take you to the Aral Sea. Before drying, the Aral Sea was one of the largest inland bodies of water in the world, covering an area of about 68,000 square kilometers. It was situated in the deserts of Central Asia, primarily in present-day Kazakhstan and partially in Uzbekistan. The sea was fed by rivers flowing from the mountains, including the Amu Darya and the Sir Darya. Most of you might not even have heard about the Aral Sea because by the early 2000s, 90% of its volume was gone. In the mid-20th century, the Soviet Union embarked on ambitious irrigation projects in the arid regions surrounding the Aral Sea. These projects aimed to transform vast swaths of desert into fertile farmland, primarily for cotton cultivation. Massive networks of canals and dams were constructed to divert water from the Amu Darya and Sir Darya rivers to irrigate the fields. As a result, the once mighty rivers, which had nourished the Aral Sea for millennia, began to dwindle. Water that once flowed freely into the sea was now diverted for agricultural purposes, leaving the sea starved of its lifeblood. The sea's water level began to drop at an alarming rate, and its shoreline receded further and further each year. By the 1960s, the consequences of this environmental catastrophe became glaringly evident. The Aral Sea was rapidly shrinking, leaving behind vast stretches of barren, salty wasteland. Fish stocks dwindled as the water became increasingly saline, decimating the once thriving fishing industry and depriving local communities of their livelihoods. The environmental degradation didn't stop there. As the sea dried up, toxic chemicals and pesticides from agricultural runoff accumulated in the exposed seabed, creating a toxic dust that was carried by the wind and spread across the region. Respiratory diseases soared, and the once fertile land surrounding the sea turned into a health hazard. By the 1990s, the Aral Sea had split into several smaller bodies of water, with the northern part becoming known as the North Aral Sea, and the larger southern part becoming the South Aral Sea. The South Aral Sea suffered the most, with its southern basin almost completely desiccated, leaving behind a barren salt desert. Despite international attention and efforts to mitigate the disaster, including the construction of a dam to stabilize the North Aral Sea, the damage was already done. On the note, the Aral Sea has not completely dried up, but it has significantly shrunk in size. The southern part of the sea has been severely depleted, leaving behind vast salt flats and smaller, highly saline remnants of the once vast body of water. However, efforts to stabilize the northern part of the sea have shown some success in recent years through water diversion projects and environmental restoration efforts. This has also impacted stakeholders nearby. Local communities, once reliant on the sea for fishing and irrigation, have seen their livelihoods devastated. Fishermen have lost their jobs as fish populations dwindled, while farmers struggle with reduced water availability and contaminated soil. The decline of the fishing industry has led to economic hardship, with fish processing plants closing and businesses shuttering. Additionally, the region's agricultural sector has suffered, with crop yields decreasing and many farmers abandoning their land. The environmental impact has been severe, with ecosystems degraded and wildlife habitats destroyed. Wetlands and other critical habitats have disappeared, while the remaining water bodies, such as the increasingly saline South Aral Sea, are hostile to life. Pollution from the exposed seabed has further harmed the environment and contributed to health problems for nearby residents. In the quest to restore the Aral Sea, a multifaceted approach is underway, combining improved water management, international cooperation, and ecological restoration efforts through initiatives aimed at enhancing water efficiency in agriculture, restoring river flow, and constructing infrastructure like dams. The hope is to replenish the sea's dwindling waters. 
International organizations are lending their support, fostering collaboration among neighboring countries and providing crucial resources for restoration projects. Engaging local communities is paramount, with efforts ranging from alternative livelihood programs to ecological rehabilitation initiatives. While progress has been made in stabilizing the North Aral Sea, challenges persist, particularly in the South Aral Sea. Nevertheless, with continued dedication and cooperation, there is optimism that the Aral Sea ecosystem can be gradually restored to its former splendor. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Have a good day.